Dog report item. The strange device continues to do whatever it is doing. Thanks for the update, Drax. Here. This is definitely the right way. These markings suggest otherwise. Exactly. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are. Right after we check here. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Didn't Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter! The... the, the pirate? Nikki! We do not intend to kill you. We need to get into that room. Nikki's really small, right? And really clever. Right. So maybe she's got a secret way in. Okay, there's a way in behind here. Child, stop playing games. What about just giving it a jolt? Yeah. That's actually a good idea. Two for two. Thank you, Nikki's pass key. Door's already open, Quill, and she's clearly not here. Give it a rest. Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby-trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are... No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corel when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill. You will make a terrible father. Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. W wait Is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is twelve, and Quill was with the child's mother twelve years ago. The math is irrefutable. Did you know? Yes, okay. So the dates maybe kind of match up, so it's possible, I guess. It's only they had a health class on this. Inspiring. Can we just focus on if Corell and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking. Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? Peter Quill is her father. It is his duty to pry into her personal life. Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. I think he's still... 
processing. Still can't get over how good she is with all this tech stuff. Meh, I could do better. Yeah, but she's 12. So, I'm 15. Staring at it ain't gonna change what it says. It doesn't say anything. It's just some confused kid projecting stuff. Just some confused kid? That is no way to talk about your daughter. Man, that Flarkin machine! How many more of them batteries can they fill? A lot, by the sound of it. Guess Nikki wasn't much of a Skrull fan. Name someone who is a Skrull fan. <laughs> Good point. We know maybe this guy's her dad. Yeesh. Looks like an even bigger deadbeat than you. Looks like Ronan the Accuser to me. Indeed. All I'm saying is clearly I'm not the only candidate. Deadbeat Ronan guy also fits the bill. Not a bad workbench. For a kid. I'm thinking Nikki won't mind if we use this. What do you say, Rocket? I say I don't care even if she does mind. Small marvel crafted. Okay, where were we? Congratulating you on being a father. Should be a way to Corel's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star Dad. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Guys, could we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. I am capable of feeling concerned while still laughing at you, Peter Quill. Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. So just like Nikki. I guess, maybe, yes. Yep, so definitely gets it from the mother's side.
That's the elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? I just... We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corel's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. Maybe we should just ask someone for directions? I am Groot. Hey, I'm capable of asking for help. Help me be done with this stupid mission. There, see? More deadly gas! I am Groot. Oh yeah, he's definitely stalling. What do you expect? He's got the emotional maturity of a two-year-old. Are you speaking of Peter Quill? Obviously. I'll have you know, I am super emotionally mature. I just realized something. Experts, knows her way around ships, fits into small spaces. Don't you dare finish that sentence. And she seems to get along well with Peter. <laughs> Good luck replacing me with an edge. Do you realize you just picked a room full of deadly gas over confronting your fear of fatherhood? I did not. Stop analyzing. Dog report item. There's no dog report item. I have been thinking. It is customary on Katath to bathe new fathers in a river of blood. Lucky for Peter we're not on Katath. Next stop, Corel's office. Dog report item. We are lost. We're not lost. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eating at you. Some need many years to fully comprehend their paternal responsibility. None of this changes who I am. I'm still cool as a cucumber. I am Groot. Groot says all the cucumbers he's ever met were terrified on the inside. Look on the bright side. Longer it takes to find them, longer we can pretend they're okay. Comforting. Shouldn't you be focused on figuring out what's inside those batteries? Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. So, where's this office, Quill? It's around here somewhere. Place wasn't this messed up last time. When in doubt, follow the stench of death. Empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. Or there are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. 
I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Return, hope, promise. Any luck getting in? The thing's pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Don't worry, Corral. I'll make sure this gets back to you. Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> oh, appealing. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree Purity Laws. What Cree Purity Laws? Corral never told you that either? The Cree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. Oh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Cree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corral and Nikki hanging from a wall. This is fancy. For valiant heroism against unrelenting tyranny. That's the highest commendation given out by the Kree. How come I never got one of these? I did heroic stuff. You're not a Kree. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, 
Why wouldn't Corell have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Kree purity laws. Oh, right. That. So when Corell said we shouldn't be doing this... He was being literal. Wow! The Kree have comic books? I am surprised. The Kree Council is very strict on approved forms of entertainment. So this could be, like, super valuable then. How valuable are we talking? Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. What's the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Kree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Okay, I'm in. But I got bad news, lover boy. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes. But we'd have to access the Nexus directly. It means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Peter, shouldn't we head for the bridge, try to access those logs? Yeah, yeah, I just want to be sure we didn't miss anything. Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so looks like the church... Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop moving. Robot priest or a priest robot? Wow. 
not answering. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. So, how do we get across? Peter's the one with the visor. Unless you broke it. I didn't break it. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. I am Groot. How am I supposed to know why the poops ain't picking up? Keep trying. I 
I have never understood how so much information can be stored in such a magical way. What, you mean servers? All of it. Servers, computers, technology. So you basically don't understand anything I do? Precisely. Report item. We have encountered a formidable new enemy, but still no sign of the ghosts. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the rodent? No! Come on! <sighs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. Perhaps we should have interrogated the robot priest. Yeah, next time we encounter a giant, deadly robot priest, we'll tie him up first and ask questions. Do you have rope? No. Well, then your plan is untenable. What I would give to get into some of these servers. I thought that was the plan. Plan is to get to the bridge and hope that maybe someone left the Nexus unlocked. But there's an open panel up in the corner there. Pretty sure that's our exit. Perfect. So we just gotta jump across a few of these floaty server things? Seems, uh, perfectly safe. They contain near infinite stores of data. Pretty sure they can temporarily support our puny mortal frame. Well, mine anyway. And yours too, yeah. So, is this another one of Peter's leaders don't go first situations? Really seems like he should be going first. Oh, uh, yeah! Maybe. Just give me a sec. It's weird, right? How the world mind seems to have gone completely dark. 